All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. All right, what's going on YouTube? And uh, welcome back to the channel. This is what we are going to be creating today. So uh, yeah, let's get started. First things first, we're gonna make a new layer. Go to our rounded rectangle tool. The fill is gonna be on, the stroke is off, and this edge is very rounded. So radius, let's try around maybe 75. And we're just going to track this out, as you can see. Try to match it as best as possible. All right, we're just gonna move this aside. I'm actually going to enlarge it. All right. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is, let me see. Um, so, all right, this is the base color, I think. All right, we're just going to make a new layer. And you want to go in between these two layers and hold Alt. Once you see this icon appear, you just want to click. And it's going to clip that layer into our rectangle shape. Now we're going to take our brush tool. I'm just going to click on this color. And we're just going to paint just like this. Right. And uh, let's see what else we got. This thing. So make a new layer again. Clip it into our rectangle. We're just going to use our pen tool. Click and drag. Just like that. Just going to fill this up. Right. And we're gonna make this white. Mode is on overlay. We're gonna drop this down. Use our eraser tool. Brush away the top like that. We're gonna make a new layer clipped into the rectangle again. But this time it's going to be underneath the two uh, we have just made. We're gonna use our brush. Colors on white. Just gonna brush on the top. As you can see. Change the mode to overlay. I'm gonna do it, um, and I'm just going to do, and uh, I'm just gonna do it one more time. This time on the top like this. As you can see, this one uh, right over here. So, drop this down. Right. Now, uh, there's this shape. So make a new layer. Same thing. Use your pencil and we're just going to copy the shape so like that colors on white go around uh for your pencil settings make make sure it's on shape as you can see the fill is on so to turn on fill click this uh, black solid color and then and then uh, you can select some colors over here or create a custom color make sure your stroke is off so click on this red uh slash mark so, so once we have that, we could drop this down to overlay. Oops, I mean to do that. All right, there we go. Uh, let's drag this out. Looks good to me. And we also have this uh, circle. So let's use our ellipse tool, make a new layer. Let's do a giant ellipse. Control T, you can rotate it. Control T, right click and go to warp. We could uh, mess with the shape. Alright, change this to overlay. There we go. And we're just gonna drop this down. As you can see. I'm gonna move these below the blue glow thing with the brush. Alright, looks good to me. Alright, next. We're gonna move on to these highlights. So make a new layer on top of everything else. And uh, let's grab our pencil. We're just going to trace this. So click to make a point, click over here, and we're just gonna drag. Now, if we click again, as you can see, the curvature is incorrect. So how we're gonna fix that is we're just gonna hold Alt, click on this blue square. This will reset the curvature. So now if we click, it's going to be a straight line. Um, actually, there's a bit of a curve, but yeah, same thing over here. Click to reset. Oh, oh it's click reset and 
try this. All right, looks good to me. And we're just going to enlarge this. Place it right about over here. So, make a new layer and you want to finish the rest of these highlights. So, click and drag this as well. Place this one right over here. That looks good. You got this one. So, click. Click and drag. And click and drag right up here. Alright. We got this. So, that goes right over there. Got this bottom one. There we go. Let's try this. Alright, that works. Let's place this right here. Alright, now let's move on to this top part, the actual stone part. So, we're going to make a new layer and use our pencil. I am going to start right over here. So, click, click and drag, alt, reset the curvature, and click and drag. Click and drag right over here, same thing. So, we're just gonna follow the shape all the way around. So, click and right over here. So, uh, yeah, let's just follow the shape. Um, ignore this uh, X button, connect this, alright, we're going to take this, let's make it larger, bring it right over here, I'm going to turn off the background so I can actually see, alright, um, it's perfect, let's go ahead and change the color to this, there we go, now we're going to make a new layer, clip it into the snow shape, and right here we and right here we're just going to copy this uh shadow thing so let's go down all around and enlarge this there we go we're going to move this move this up here and then just change the color click this as you can see perfect um let's go back to the original snow shape this one we're going to hold alt and drag to copy it move it down change the color we use this for our shadow as you can see that looks great and uh yeah same thing we're just gonna make a new layer clipped into the snow so we could uh and now we're just going to do this lighter shade area as you can see just go around oops and enlarge it move it right here move it right here and click this color looks good now I'm just going to finish the rest of these highlights as you can see, so the color is going to be white. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of do these fast. But if I were you, I would take my time to make sure they look um, the best they could be. Here we go. We got this one. Boom. Just curve this over here and over here. Right now we got this, and uh, yeah, those are all the ones we need. Let's just increase the size. Everything looks good so far. Let's make a new layer. Go to our pencil, and uh, we're just gonna do this shape right over here. So, click and drag, as we have done uh, pretty much this entire video. So. Let's place this right here, enlarge this, and I'm going to bring this down, uh, let's change the mode to overlay, as you can see, or if you're going to normal, just click the same color, works the same way, doesn't really matter, uh, I forgot this little highlight, so let me go ahead and uh, do that, so let's go right here, click and drag, as you can see, 
click up here and drag as well. Let's move this over here. Alright, let's see what we got so far. So let's turn this off, put the background back on. This is what we got. Um, I really like how it's looking. Let's move on to the button right here. Alright, so for the button, let's go for rounded rectangle. Drag this out. There we go. And um, it's pretty much the same thing. So let's select this color. Clip a new layer. Let's use our brush and let's go right over here, as you can see. Change this overlay, new layer, brush tool, white. That looks good. Overlay. Actually, I'm on normal. Alright, and um, there's this shadow. Let's go at let's go at that real quick. There we go. Bring this over here. Let's put this color. Alright, and the snow part is pretty simple. So go ahead and chase this. Right, and um select the same color. Let's go over here. Put this in. Select the right color. Alright. Make a copy. The shadow color. This one. Let's bring this down. Alright, so we got this. Um Let's move it right here. I'm actually just going to copy this. Even though this one's a bit different, but you know, for the sake of time, copy this one. Take this, add a shadow. Right here. Alright, the snow port is actually. Alright, uh, the snow port actually is really easy. Copy the rectangle, make it larger. Select the same color. So, you want to make sure it looks like that. Make a new layer, go to our eyedropper tool, select the same color. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to trace the shape. There we go. Bring this over here. New layer, all the way to the top, close on white. And now you could do the highlights. So, same thing. All right. Go here. Boom. All right. Take all of these. I'm going to move it across. Why is it not accurate? Anyways. So, let me blow right here. Alright, that's cool. This right here is our button. Let's place this right here. Enlarge. Like that. As you can see, this is what we got. Alright, now. Uh, what else we got? Um, yeah. For the dripping ice port on this bottom. Same thing. Let's just go trace it. Alright. There we go. Let's move this across. Same thing. That looks good. <laughs> um, select the same color. All right. Enlarge this to match. All right, that's cool. It's a bit more. All right. Looks good to me. Um, now we're just gonna finish off with the X button right over here. So let's make this bigger, select the same color. Uh, right click, go into go into blending options. Um, copy the same settings I have. I am kind of tired, so I'm not gonna talk too much. 
Right, uh, let's make a copy. Drag the FX to the trash can to get rid of the effects. Go here. It fills off. Stroke. We're gonna make this like level. I don't know. Maybe 15. Let's try 12. Let's go into blending options. All right. And uh, let me see. Hmm. Color. I'm gonna select this color. All right. Right click and rasterize layer. Actually, rasterize layer stuff. Make a new layer. We're going to clip it in. Do this kind of thing. Right here. That looks bad. <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's go right here. Uh. I didn't do that. Tripping effects. It's whatever. There we go. Um. If you want to do it, go ahead. But. It's just no point. But uh. Yeah. Let's go right here. Select this color. Make a new layer, and uh, we're just gonna go right here. Click on this and this as well. Let's just go down. Boom! Really easy. I'm gonna make this the color. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. So, blending options. Go into a new shadow. Pick this for the color and change the angle. All right, that looks good. All right, now we have our X button. Take this, place this right over here, enlarge it. All right, and uh, if we hold Alt, drag down to make a copy. Control E to flatten. Right click, go into blending options, color overlay. Select this same shadow color, as you can see. And if we take this and put this on the bottom. Alright, and we have our finished results. Let me displace. Let me display this properly. Alright, so so we are officially done with uh, the snow UI. Uh yeah. Like I said, I'm tired, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you won't miss out on the video. And uh, hitting the like button means a lot to us because it helps us with the YouTube algorithm, helps our video get uh, noticed. We would really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time.